This house on Key West. I guess that would have been the coach house. I tried to go quickly with the history stuff, so if you want to read things, be prepared to hit pause. Waiting to meet up with some friends who I think just texted me, Bart and Kimmy. So, nope, it wasn't them. So, we'll see if I can get the inside done. I know I do this too fast. Again, we're right on Duval Street. Always make sure to tip them. And he went off, and she even bought the house from her sister during the Civil War. At the end of the Civil War, he was captured and sent back to Key West. Before the Civil War, he was a big shot. After the Civil War, he was a traitor. She lived in a rooming house until after she died. sketch she did. And she died in 1881. And how did she, at the end of the Civil War, send back to Key West with just his Confederate money? Before the Civil War, nobody would give him a job. Yeah, it was a good thing. Yeah, there are four of us are going to work on uh, Eagle Lane. Oh, good. It's good. Wall Street. It's just, his sister in law owned the house. Huh. But he took whatever valuables he could gather. And he sailed to Mobile, Alabama, and joined the Confederate Navy. Wow. His wife stayed right here. The daughters were grown, and they were grandchildren. And okay, they just rang. I'm gonna go meet him. I'm just a couple feet away. They do have in there. I do want to come back. Hopefully, I won't forget. They have an original uh, Sanchez. He does. He was a local artist, quite renowned. It's worth a lot of money, actually. It's very neat. He did it with wood carvings. He saw his work in the... You would have seen it in the uh, tour I did of the Customs House. Had a great launch with Kim and Bart from YouTube at Caroline's, but we decided not to make videos. Caroline's is touristy, but good food. Okay, I came back to finish the tour. Came back the next day.
you build a house like a ship, it will withstand the hurricanes. The house was actually in the back of the property, and then 20 years after it was built, it was rolled up to the front. They said it was moved because that's Whitehead Street on the back side of Duval. That was a lot more damp back there, so it was drier here. Have a great and wonderful day.